The last time Team USA men's basketball faced Puerto Rico in the Olympics was 20 years ago, and Puerto Rico won outright by 19 points. Not sure that's going to happen again as the USA is a 35-point favorite, but they did not cover against South Sudan. Uh, They did not cover several of the exhibition games. So can Puerto Rico stay close as a big dog? Or is this a revenge spot 20 years later for the USA? By the way, the USA, 5-1 all-time against Puerto Rico. but The last time they played in the Olympics 20 years ago, they lost outright. That was a bad showing overall. It's the only time they didn't get gold or silver. They got bronze that year in 2004. I do think there's some money-making opportunities in this game. I'm going to break down the side total, but give you some player props where I think the money is. Free player props coming up for you in this video in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And we are talking Puerto Rico Team USA Game 3 of the Olympic basketball, men's basketball for the Team USA. They've already advanced to the elimination round. Should be locked into one of those top two seeds. Because keep in mind, it's a random draw in the round of eight. But one of the top two seeds cannot face each other. And France, Canada, and the U.S. look like the three best teams. So all they got to do is win here, which they will, is a 35-point favor. By the way, you can lay a 1000 to win a dollar on the money line. If you want a quick dollar, it's like picking up nickels in front of a steamroller. Uh, but the USA will win this game. But covering is a different story. Now, look, I thought this line should probably be in the 40-point range. So I do think there's value with Team USA. But I also thought there was value with Team USA on Wednesday against South Sudan. And we know how that turned out. They only won by one as a 43-point favorite in the exhibition game. So, hey, I took the 14-point discount at minus 29. And it was looking pretty good when they were up by 19 and a half. But then they got outscored in the second half. Oh, yeah, they had their bench players in there. Yeah, well, the bench players are still better than anybody else in the world. Let's look at those bench players in that last game for Team USA. Yeah, we had coming off the bench, Bam Adebayo, who had almost 20 points. Drew Holiday, uh, Tyrese Halliburton finally played. He did not play in the previous game, got seven minutes. Derek White, Kevin Durant off the bench. Oh, that's tough. Anthony Edwards off the bench. They had two of the better games. In fact, Bam, Durant, and Edwards were three of the best players off the bench. So how does South Sudan outscore the U.S. in the second half? Inexcusable. And yeah, you can see I'm a little bitter because I gave you minus 29 here in the video. I liked it as a best bet. And um, I did point out also I thought Tatum would get more minutes. He started after not playing the previous game at all. Steve Kerr had said it's very difficult to get more than 10 players in in 40 minutes because this is 40 minutes, not 48 like an NBA game. So Kerr has been sitting somebody every game. But I think this leads to really good prop betting opportunities, especially in this game, if you can find numbers. Now look... There are player props on all the big boys, but some guys are missing. We'll see if Embiid props go up. As of Friday afternoon when I'm doing this video, I do not see Embiid props at the books. Hey, but request them. FanDuel DraftKings might pop them up. In fact, front and center before the game, I saw a ton of Tata props all of a sudden the other night at FanDuel. So maybe you all are watching these videos and requesting them. Let me know, by the way, if you can find these props and if you can request them and get them. But I do like Embiid over for a couple reasons if you can get numbers on them. And here's why. He's the only guy that did not play against South Sudan. He started almost every game during the exhibition, and he started against Serbia in the first game. He will get minutes. In fact, I'm almost certain he's going to start in this game, just like Kerr started Tatum after not playing him. And I also think Embiid has a great matchup here. Puerto Rico is the smallest team in the Olympics. Serbia dominated them. You know, the U.S. blew Serbia out by 26, and uh, then Puerto Rico had a lot of trouble matching up with Serbia's size down low. In fact, Um, If you look at points in the paint alone in that game, uh, Puerto Rico really struggled. Rebounds as well. Um, It just wasn't good for them. In fact, they were outscored by 44 points in the paint, 66 to 22 on way to that 41-point loss to Serbia, 107-66. And uh, the rebounding margin wasn't much better. Uh, They had a disadvantaged rebound match of about 30, I believe, in that game also. So look, this is not a good matchup for Puerto Rico against the big guys, especially with Embiid likely getting more minutes. So if you can find Embiid points over, rebounds over, I like it. Uh, we'll see if sportsbooks post them on Saturday. But what they do have up right now is Anthony Davis props. And Davis has been good a good amount of playing time. And he maybe sits a little bit more in this game. However, with his size against a small Puerto Rican team, he should dominate. His point total is 9.5. Uh, over 9.5 points for Anthony Davis makes a lot of sense. His rebound total is anywhere from 7.5 to 8.5. So shop around. Uh, we'll say 8 is a consensus number. Davis over eight rebounds makes a lot of sense as well. So I like Anthony Davis points and rebounds over. He is readily available at all major sports books. And then once again, if you can find numbers on Embiid, I like his points and rebounds over as well because I think he'll get extra minutes after not playing against South Sudan. And once again, Puerto Rico, the smallest team in the Olympics. Uh, Serbia had a 44-point edge from the paint. 
I think these guys will have an edge as well. You know, Bam Adebayo's had a huge game. He probably has another big game. My, my concern, though, is the guys that had big games, I think Kerr maybe sets them a little bit in this one because they are a 35-point favorite. So I look for more minutes for guys that haven't been playing. Another guy that hasn't been playing much I mentioned was Halliburton. He did not play two games ago against Serbia, only got seven minutes off the bench against South Sudan. So Halliburton probably gets a lot more minutes here. Problem is, once again, sportsbooks don't have odds on him or Embiid posted, but I like Halliburton points over as well. I know he's not a big guy, but I think he's going to get extended minutes. So Embiid and Halliburton over if you can find props, just because I think they will play more on Saturday. And then Anthony Davis over just with the height advantage over a small Puerto Rican team. Hey, this game's at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Saturday morning on NBC National TV, so enjoy watching it. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this game. What other angles do you see? Do you have an opinion on the side or total? Look, I think the line is too short. It's very tricky making numbers on these games. But I've been concerned with the lack of motivation by the USA. They look very lack in the uh, exhibition games. Now, granted, Durant did not play. He's been really fantastic. In fact, he had five straight Olympic games with 20 points or more until the South Sudan game. And um, he had a little bit less than that, but he's still playing fantastic. Um, so never betting against superstars like Durant in high-profile spotlight games. But still... The fact that they got outscored in the second half against South Sudan after that 19-point halftime lead in what was really a revenge game after being embarrassed by them in the first meeting two weeks ago concerns me. And um, that's why I just don't trust the USA. Uh, they don't need to win this game by margin. Uh, so I think there's, the line is too short, but I don't trust Team USA. Hey, look, I still got my flag. I'm rooting for all the USA teams, but at times it's hard for me to root for this men's Olympic team. What are your thoughts on that as well? Do you enjoy this team? Would you rather see college players out there? Or how about my idea? The NBA championship team gets to play. Have the Celtics out there. Now, I know we got Derek White, Holiday, and Tatum. we got most of the Celtics out there already. But I'd almost rather see like an NBA championship team or merge the college championship team with the NBA championship team. Any creative thoughts? Because these USA guys almost seem like they're just going through the motions at time. And that bothers me as a sports fan and as a fan of Team USA in general. Comment below. I read all the comments and I reply back. Hey, let's get ready. Get Get your preseason in for that NFL Fade the Public video that's only about a month away. My college football top 25 video starts in less than a month. So start commenting now. Let's get preseason form into current form. And I know many of you are with me for those NBA playoff videos. I get every NBA play, every NBA game throughout the playoffs here. So I want to give you a little Team USA basketball here. I'll be doing each of these Olympic games all the way through the finals. Comment below. Let me know if you're liking the videos. I'll keep them coming. Also, thumbs up, a like goes a long way to keeping this content free and plentiful. Subscribe and click the bell for an instant alert the next time I have a Team USA or Olympic basketball video up. And don't forget about the free play baseball videos. Did two of them on Friday on last call this Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern. We'll be talking about this game as well in-game as it'll just start. So if you want to get my in-game take, check out last call. I'll be on around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Saturday morning here on Wager Talk TV. Yet another reason to click the bell when you subscribe here and join the family. Don't forget, we have a fantastic special going right now at wagertalk.com. I got daily baseball best bets, football right around the corner, but you can also get everything in August for free, and here's how it works. You buy September and October, and look, you know you're going to play college and pro football. My fantastic college and pro football, number one rankings last year. Looking forward to the season starting. So if you're going to be on board for September and October, why not get August for free? Because when you buy two months, you get the third month for free right now. It's basically buying September and October, and we're giving you the rest of August for free. Now, look, you missed, you missed a couple days already. There's still 29 days to go starting this Saturday, August 3rd. Hey, if you're watching this video early on Friday, maybe you can get in on time to get my Friday night, late night baseball best bet as well. But no matter when you sign up, you get the rest of August for free. So the sooner you join, the sooner you get the month of August for free and all my baseball best bets along the way. Look, that's September and October with August included for free. So it's three months. It's going to get you almost half the college and pro football season. It's going to get you the rest of the baseball season into the World Series in late October. And it's going to get you the start of basketball as well. It's a fantastic offer. It's an instant $299 savings, almost a $300 savings instantly. Because when you sign up now, you're getting three months for the price of two. Get September and October, and we're throwing in the rest of August for free. So don't delay. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. No promo code needed, and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X Twitter, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X Twitter. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.